Lithium stocks. Why Albemarle is a nothing but trouble play to avoid. Albemarle, ALB, stock has continued on its downtrend after the company got caught up in a bribery probe. Albemarle is in the news because of a failed lithium project takeover. Investors should continue to avoid ALB stock. An indirect but interesting way to invest in the electric vehicle, EV, boom is through shares of high-conviction lithium miners. Thus, you may have heard about multinational specialty chemical and lithium company Albemarle, NYSE, ALB, but we definitely don't consider it to be high conviction. Indeed, we're seeing major issues with ALB stock and can only give it a D grade right now. We'll acknowledge that Albemarle has been in the financial headlines recently. That's not necessarily a good thing, though. The old adage that, there's no such thing as bad press, probably doesn't apply to Albemarle in 2023. Did you heed the warning about ALB stock? On September 26, we issued a warning about ALB stock, when it traded at $163 and Albemarle's trailing 12-month price to earnings ratio was approximately 5x. Our concern was that value-focused investors might assume that Albemarle shares were a bargain. Just because shares have gone down in price, doesn't always mean they're a bargain. The Albemarle share price had been on a steep downtrend since February, and staying out of the way was the best policy. In late October, ALB stock fell below $140 and Albemarle's P.E. ratio was slightly above 4x. As it turned out, Albemarle's shares weren't a good value, they were just a value trap. We try to warn people about Albemarle's problems. The company was in the financial press, but not for something positive. Specifically, the Wall Street Journal and Reuters reported that Albemarle paid more than $218 million to settle a foreign bribery probe. This settlement was to resolve possible violations of the U.S. Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. This doesn't sound like positive public relations for Albemarle. Albemarle ends up in the headlines again. More recently, Albemarle ended up in the financial headlines again, this time in the Wall Street Journal and Bloomberg. First, we'll provide some background info. For a while, some investors and commentators had been buzzing about Albemarle's proposal to acquire Australia-based mining company Liontown Resources, OTCMKTS. LINRF. This could have been a value-added acquisition for Albemarle. Yet, it wasn't to be. The Bloomberg headline spoke loudly and clearly, Liontown dives 35% after bid collapse, emergency fundraising. It's probably not positive press coverage if the headline uses the word, collapse. Apparently, mining tycoon Gina Reinhardt stepped in and made a competing offer that Liontown couldn't refuse. That's undoubtedly disappointing to some of Albemarle's shareholders. Yet, it's an unfortunate reality for Albemarle, even if it's perfectly fine with Reinhardt and Liontown resources. Find another EV industry investment than ALB stock. There are plenty of EV materials stocks out there in 2023. Why add so much risk to your portfolio with a stock that's on a steep downtrend, representing a company with less than ideal press coverage? In the world of mining stocks, the risk level is elevated and you should only select the best while avoiding the rest. Clearly, Albemarle fits into the rest category, not the best category. So, in the final analysis, Alb stock only earns a D grade and investors shouldn't be too eager to buy it now.